I, I don't know if I'm ready to watch this today. Do it? I, I, all right, all right, all right. I'll, I'll watch it. I'll see what this is at least. This could be stupid, but we'll see. Americans, known for their many inventions, their massive cultural influence over the world, their iconic landmarks, their massive military strength, and their size. No, I'm not talking about you guys' landmass or population, which by the way aren't even that big. Now, I'm talking about the country's massive obesity problem. Oh, okay, all right, all right, hold up. What's the fattest country in the world? What country has the highest rate for obesity? We're gonna find this out right now. We're gonna look into this. We're gonna see, really, if we're actually so fat. Most obese countries, 2023. All right, who's number one? Oh, look at this. We're only number 10. Guys, we're only number 10. That's, that's pretty good, right? By population? I mean, it's a percentage is what really matters. Yeah, we're not number one, guys. Uh -huh. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, Jesus, bro. Like. <laughs> Oh god. Oh my god. The Texas see Bucky's in the distance? I've never been to Bucky's. Yeah, true. This is so ridiculous. This is so fucking crazy. Is our country really this much of a joke? American cultural co colonial cuisine lore? South Sea, oh, what the fuck? Toothache is it? Effective Western, effective, what's this here? Western diet on facial and dental development? Primitive South Sea Islander, modernized South Sea Islander. Yo, what the fuck? American. Aside from their gun laws, their use of weird metrics for no reason, and their lack of universal health care, Americans being fat is one of the main things the rest of the world makes fun of them for. And this topic is actually such a sensitive subject that in the past, <laughs> American politicians have had their entire... God damn. President Taft getting stuck. Newspapers depicting President Taft getting stuck in the bath due to his weight. Their entire reputation. Patients ruined by fat jokes. But how bad is oh America's obesity epidemic really? Is it just a silly stereotype? Oh or my. No. Epidemic, really? Is it just a silly stereotype? <laughs> or 73% of Americans are overweight. 42% of American adults are obese. But the heaviest guy ever in the world's oh entire history was American. And that's right, guys, I'm gonna do the same thing that all oh. overly serious geography channels with 4K stock footage backgrounds yeah. and boringly normal political takes do. And compare America to Europe. Compared okay. to America's 42% obesity. Yeah, because like are, are we really that fat? Because there's gotta be fat people. People in Europe, right? Europe clocks in at only 17%. And that's oh, the EU, Europe, 17%. That's not 17% is literally all Turkey's mm. fault, okay? I'm not even joking. Turkey's if you remove wait, 32% of people in Turkey are overweight. If the UK and Turkey from that statistic, Europe would have like minus obesity. Wait, we are at 41% obesity. So that's like every third person you see is fat. I mean, I've been, I went to, uh, to Golden Corral. It's an all you can eat buffet. And there was a man there with his wife. He looked like a farmer. He was wearing the big overalls, and he had about, I'm not even fucking kidding you, 10 plates of food on his table. And he was sitting there with his wife, 
watching anime at Golden Corral on a tablet together while they were eating 10 plates of food. That's the first farmer weeb I've ever seen. Removed the UK and Turkey I from remember that. I went there and I looked around and I realized I was the only person in the entire building besides my dad because I went there with him, that wasn't overweight. I was the only person there. Statistic, Europe would have They like used to have a fountain of chocolate that you could put your hand in, and there were a bunch of videos of people putting their hand in the fountain, and then... <laughs> and I had to get rid of it because of COVID. So they stopped doing the fountain. No, I really mean this, guys. Like, uh, look. Oh, my. Hello and welcome back to Golden Corral. You know that last time you visited, you know, when that man was eating without his shirt on, it was a terrible experience for you. So we've made many renovations to how we serve our food and our customers. That includes this upgraded 40-foot chocolate fountain. And if you were worried about bacteria and germs, don't worry any longer. When our staff preps the chocolate fountain every morning, they put in 10 bottles of hand sanitizer. Enjoy your stay at Golden <laughs> Corral. Oh God, that's how it is, boys. Minus obesity percentage, okay? And if you see, I had to show that video because I bet there were some Europeans that didn't see this. That's misleading, though, because by the definition of obesity, bodybuilders are obese. Oh, so we don't. I see. So everybody at Golden Corral was actually a bodybuilder then. Now, what were they building? A hill. The America pilled side on this, you could argue that compared to European food, American food just tastes better. And therefore, they eat more of it because it tastes nicer. Simple. That's kind of true in a way, but also completely oh not God, true bro. in a way. For example, as much as I love a proper British meal, I'm not exactly going to be frantically binge eating beans on toast, you know? Also, take this Neapolitan pizza, right? Yeah. Most people would agree it's really, really tasty, but it's not something uh, you'd... Nah, bro, like, I would never eat that. Not even, not even in a million years I eat that. Where's the pepperonis? I guarantee you Domino's clears this. I guarantee Domino's probably to bro. Like Domino's is just on another level. All right. Really get it's just how it is, guys. I'm sorry. Keep Look, I'm so stuffing what y'all never had Domino's down your throat, even if you're full. It's literally just bread, cheese, tomato, and basil. It's not like yeah. that good. American food, on the other hand, is like the most. Well, no, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. It's the oils and the grease and all this extra shit that they have in there. That's the problem. Active Moorish drug. Gotta, gotta go America has the second highest salt consumption per capita in the world, That's second nuts. only to their best mates, China. The USA also has the <laughs> highest pro. <laughs> Is it that bad? That's sugar consumption in the world. Ooh, and this stuff literally really? makes your brain release dopamine, which is the same type of high you get off. So basically, American food is just weak ass crap. And for that reason, it's uh -huh. a lot tastier for your dopamine starved sure brain than boring, regulated European food. I mean, just wait till the Yanks find out about the UK's sugar tax. Wait, what? A sugar tax? What? How much would one of these things be in, 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 in one of them Europe places? Six to seven dollars. And this was like two dollars. I, I don't know what I would do. I'll get back to that in a second. I just got a quick question for you. Uh -huh. Have you ever used public networks and felt completely unsafe and unprotected? No. Data breaches and malware infections could just be one click away. Do you really want to risk your important data? Of course you don't. With CyberGhost VPN, you do not have to worry anymore. Once you turn it on via the app, CyberGhost transmits your data through a secure encrypted tunnel, giving you a very high level of online anonymity and military grade security. You will not lose any speed or responsiveness. You'll be able to access a ton of blocked online online libraries from over 40 you gotta use this now for uh, that amazon prime shit they're trying to make you watch ads bro i, I feel like people are going to start get going back to pirating soon they uh, using stuff like this to pirate stuff i feel like yeah it, it's like people are going to go back to the old days
streaming services, Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, Disney Plus, many more. Change your online location in just three clicks and get 40% more content There's from the libraries you currently have. Use one subscription to protect and enjoy online freedom on up to seven devices. So it's the perfect choice to protect your family. Also, CyberGhost VPN is compatible with most operating systems, including Windows, Mac OS, Linux, iOS, and Android. Smart TVs and even gaming consoles. They what? got more than 38 million users, an excellent rating on Trustpilot, and a price of just two dollars. Wait, so if you use that on a gaming console, can't you cheat in the game? And then VPN? And then just cheat again? No? Okay. Cents per month, plus four months free. So act quickly. Click the link in the description. Yeah, I to never get done special it on, discount. On a CyberGhost VPN is granting to the Geopold community. It's a 45 day money back guarantee and 24 7 customer support. So everything is risk free. Anyway, whilst I know taxing sugar does seem like an extreme measure, it does. the results don't lie. Remember either. what happens whenever, we, whenever they tax tea? That's right. <laughs> You remember the main that? reason why loads of European countries have Chills, taxes brother. to make sugary products more expensive is don't so that, that these happen. unhealthy foods don't become the most affordable option for poor people. As you can yeah. see on this map of America, these states in the deep south are the poorest in the country. These same states are also the most obese in the country. <laughs> oh shit. Alabama, Mississippi, and what, what's that? LA, Los Angeles. No, no. What the hell is that one? Louisiana. Yep, there it is. Yeah, I don't know where the states are. It's not important to know where Louisiana is. Now, I can tell you every single rare spawn in every single area in World of Warcraft and its patrolling patterns, but I honestly don't know what the fuck this is. Is that like Massachusetts or something? I, I don't know. This is because the cheapest- Poor people only get access to shit food, that's why they're obese? No, I disagree with that. I don't think that's true. I think poor people are obese because they don't cook their food. You can make a lot of money, you, sorry, you can, you can make a lot of healthy food, by cooking it yourself. Everybody knows that eating Little Debbie's is bad for you. This is a lazy fat cope that, oh, we're not educated on how to cook food. You're not educated on how to cook food, but somehow these people probably over there are educated in the 17 different ways that Donald Trump actually won the 2020 election. Get the fuck out of here. You just don't care. Don't waste my fucking time and try to gaslight me and goof me around. Oh no, that's not really, you don't understand. Get the fuck out of here. You're lazy and you like eating Cheetos. Then do it. But it's not the world's fault. You can make chicken and rice all week for way cheaper than McDonald's every day. Yeah, absolutely. It's not outright easy to eat healthy on welfare, but it's damn well possible. <sighs> you're not eating on welfare, you're eating on food stamps. The general amount of money that you get for food stamps every single month is $200, or at least it was about 10 years ago. You can easily get enough produce as an individual, because this is for a single adult, right? And if you have dependents, or you have other people in the household, you also get more money. Like when I was getting food stamps, you would uh, we got like $360. So like, I know about this because I had food stamps. There's a lot of people that like talking and they don't really know what they're saying. They've never been in the situation before. I've been to the grocery store before. I, I don't have people do my shopping for me. I go out and I shop and I get my own food. I know what the price of things are. I had food stamps. I know what this is. You can easily cook healthy food on a budget and on food stamps. In fact, it's easier. I remember my mom and I would do that all the time. It's just fat cope. That's it. 20 years ago, maybe. Do you know how much we get nowadays? It was 10 years ago, number one. Number two... I don't know how much people get nowadays. You're right. How much do people get nowadays? I get 180, 291, 290, 300 dollars. 
it's more. I would assume it's more. So we're looking at a lot of the numbers are between 280 and 300. For $300 a month, could you make healthy food for an entire for and I, this is this is for an individual single adult? I think that you could. Like for me, right? I I could easily do that because I don't eat a lot of food. Food in America is also the unhealthiest, most addictive sh possible. Beef burger. Also, on average in America, the lower paying your job is, the more hours you work. Meaning no. the poorer workers don't have time to cook proper meals, hence fast food. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's all good being a progressive West Coast hipster food influencer, oh, yeah. telling everyone they need to start eating Greek yogurt, fresh fruit, and granola every morning if they want to lose weight. But if all you can afford is frosted flakes, you're gonna have to get that. Especially if you're chemically wired to only be able to wake up if you get your morning head rush of endorphin exploding sucrose. And then you factor in that this shit is actually marketed as healthy in the USA mm -hmm. and it's actually so over for any American. Cereal makers sold us a breakfast myth why Americans eat dessert for breakfast. Wait, what? You know what I eat for breakfast? Number one, nothing. But if I do eat something for breakfast, I eat beef jerky for breakfast. That's my first steak of the day. Yeah, I have beef jerky. And then like, you know, for dinner, I have like a chipotle. That's it, because of the sugar, I don't know. That's all, I only eat like maybe one, two meals a day that want to lose weight. It's a bit like how drinks like Prime are marketed as healthy sports beverages. Is healthy? Yeah. What the fuck? Like who the fuck said this was healthy? Yeah, it might have less sugar, but realistically it contains like millions of toxic artificial sweeteners that will corrode away your internal organs faster than bleach would. Unfortunately, America's food industry is based more around marketing and selling a product for profit than actually providing decent scran for hardworking people. And the big food companies have one big trick up their sleeve to guarantee full obedience, addiction, and maximum profit from their American customers. MSG, the mystical white powder that I quote, and antagonizes your pancreas into pouring out more insulin, a hormonal cascade that makes you feel hungrier. So the food- Really? That's nuts. Like, here, here's how I see it, right? Is like, I, I hardly eat any, like, box food. Like, I guess I eat a bag of beef jerky and that's it. I think a big problem, I hope he talks about this in the video, is like, have you ever been to a restaurant and then they serve you your food and you're like, holy shit, I could eat this for a week? Like, how does a normal person eat that much food? It's just, it, it's, it's insane. And they say you need to eat three times a day? No, you fucking don't. Who said that? Many Americans think stops their hunger actually makes them more hungry. And they eat way, way, way more food than they needed. Man, oh you know something God. has to be really, really bad for Pakistan to ban it. I mean, at Ooh. least in Pakistan, they use their legs, which is something that's completely unthinkable for a lot of Americans, since half of their cities and road networks are entirely built around it. accessing fast food chains and making sure people get as little exercise as possible. Less than there was actually, um, so, you know, I had my, uh, you know, I was, I, I'm getting my car worked on right now and I, I, I called an Uber and the woman who picked me up, she picked me up in the wrong place, but I, I could tell it's like, oh, okay, that that's the person. So I walked over to her and she was like, oh, I'm so sorry you had to walk over here. And I'm like, it's okay. And she's like, oh, okay. Well, you know, there are some people that get really bothered by that. And I'm like, man, really? 25% of Americans walk for more than 10 minutes continuously in a typical week. And I know you American- Wait, wait. Less than 25% of Americans walk for more than 10 minutes continuously in a typical week. So isn't there like a type of meat that they have where like they make like the cows and like the animals and they're not allowed to move around? Veal? Yeah, it's veal, right? So we're veal. And we put ourselves in the cage. Oh my God.
typical week. And I know you America pilled guys might see public transport as pathetic, stupid, lefty nonsense, but realistically, the 12 minute walk from your house to the train and the 13 minute walk from your train to your work for some people could be the difference between being able to touch your toes and being morbidly ill. Also, another thing I wanted to quickly mention is how the US uses fast food addiction to economically colonize other countries. For example, the Marshall Islands, Guam, Micronesia, just loads of the Pacific Island nations. These countries once had extremely natural diets, mainly consisting of fish, which this part of the world is rich in. That was fish. until America decided to nuke the f***ing shit out uh, of their waters. Hundreds right. of bombs were tested here by the US military despite what, what, what major- What are we nuking them with Big Macs? Local protest. This left a lot of fish dead or radioactive. Wait, what? Vaporizing whole I Why is the fish green? He's supposed to be green? Which, as you can imagine, was pretty bad for Plutonium. the fishing industry. Leaving People, what does this say? People usually don't indulge in completely radioactive, potentially lethal produce, if you didn't know. Damn, I wonder how true that is. So, like, we basically tested a bunch of bombs, leaving many and then, like, us testing the bombs caused all these people to just, like... That's not, I wonder if this is true. I mean, you know, we tested bombs on Dresden, right? So it's like, I, I, I would believe that we probably did do this. Indonesians, poor, vulnerable, and in need of cheap food. Hey, did someone say Mickey D's? Hey, ha, did someone say goddamn Wendy's? Hey, did someone mention some clucky looking Kentucky Fried God? <laughs> it's like, think about it from their perspective, right? It's like these fucking, these random fat fucks show up and they use bombs to blow up all your fish. And now they're trying to fucking build hamburger shacks on your island. <laughs> because you can't eat the fish because they blew them all up. <laughs> what is this, bro? Damn chicken, who ordered some Burger King? Hell yeah! <laughs> this has led to this region becoming the most unhealthy, most oh, insanely no. obese part This of is, oh my, every single top 10 country for obesity is a Pacific Island nation? This is incredible! Of the world kind of reminds me a bit of how the u.s treated native americans rations yeah we know oh you're 100 percent God. goddamn reliant off our rations since we eradicated 100 percent of your goddamn stupid healthy natural food sauce so in return we're gonna send you just enough sugar and lard and hard liquor and gambling chips for you to stay alive freedom so anyway i guess the moral of this story is maybe beans on toast isn't actually that bad Whoa. True. And don't forget, hit that link in the description to get the special this discount CyberGhost VPN is granting to Geopold viewers. Protect your data whilst you browse, get full access to block content on the internet for only $2.03 a month. Totally risk-free, so check it out. Link in the description. So we literally showed up to, to these the Pacific Islands, and we blew up all their fish, and we're selling fast food. No way, right? I mean, like, what? We blew up all the fish. That's incredible. Correlation doesn't mean causation. It doesn't, but sometimes it does. But sometimes, though, you know what I mean? Sorry, we nuked your food source. Here's some small fries. In the fairness, USA probably didn't know the full risks and long-term effects of nuclear bombs. Well, if we had known it, we'd have still done it, though, right? We did just been like, damn, this is fucked up. We have to do this. Damn, man, doesn't this... Bro, I bet this sucks for them. Damn, man, like, God, that sucks. Well, look, I mean, we got to do it, right? So, all right, so when do you want to do it? The tomorrow? Okay. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I mean, do you think they would really give a fuck? Absolutely not. Dude, this is incredible. I had no idea about this. Only killed the video. This is funny. In Kansas City, they ran an obesity survey on the streets. 52% declared themselves overweight, 21% morbidly obese, and 18% about just having the right weight. 
The rest, 9% ate the survey. Um, I can believe that. 